All right. Oh, man, I hope I can get through this here. <laughs> All right. Okay. I have worked with John Belarus for 11 years, longer than I've worked with anybody in my entire life. We have shared laughter. I, I think we shared some tears. Yeah. It's no hype to say you are a friend. And I think it's fair to say you become a part of my family, you become a part of the family out there. Yet, like any member of the family, when you move on to pursue your dreams, you leave behind people. And it's not easy for those of us you leave behind. So the big question is why. I sat down with John earlier this week to find out why. Here's what the man said. I get it all the time. Why is Belarus leaving the station? Here's your chance. Why, why is Belarus leaving Channel 10? The major reason, as a kid, I had a dream, okay? I um, had this dream to do primetime weather in New York. I grew up there. That's my hometown. But John has it all right here in Philadelphia. A successful career, a beautiful home, legions of fans. That all changed on September 11th, 2001. At the morning of September 11th, you left a message on my machine saying, Renee, turn on your TV. Look at what they've done to my city. How did that, I mean, as a New Yorker, not being in New York, I, I firmly believe that that's had a big part in terms of you deciding you need to be home. Yeah, well, my, true? true. My friends, you know, I remember my, my best friends, firemen. They're all firemen. You know, mm -hmm. five brothers that took me into their home. You know, I remember I was... Uh, real nervous for Terry because Terry was he, he had a fire collapse before that and he was considered disabled. Terry's your best friend. That's right. Terry, yeah. But he went into that you know he was part of that rescue and um, I remember uh, you know thinking about him how noble and uh, you know uh, the love that they have for what they do and um, I just um, got really you know I'm emotional to begin with but I got really you know, emotional with my with my buddy, and I didn't want to like not be there anymore. You needed to be home. I wanted to go home. You know, I wanted to go home and and be a part of the rebuilding. But as John follows his dream, Mr. he's Mr. leaving behind dream. many who will there miss is. him. TV's highest story. I know people have called you crying. Yes. Why are you leaving? Now, now I'm feeling like I'm like I don't want to. I'm not abandoning anyone. You know, I didn't realize, you know, the, how much uh, people will you know miss you. And I think, to me, you know, um. I just don't know how to thank you. They gave me the biggest compliment for letting me into their house. And um, I never, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get <clears throat> emotional about it because I tried to tell myself, oh, you stay strong, stay strong. But I have my, my, uh, my moments alone when I get upset, mm -hmm. when I pull in and I, stay, and I, I think about things and mm -hmm. uh, I... A lot of things that even you know have taken place in here, mm -hmm. and um, regrets with personal relationships. I mean, are you going to get up to New York in a year from now? You're going to be married? Or are you going to always be a bachelor? It's hard to predict that my personal life. You know, it's you know I'm okay with a five day, but I'm I'm not very good with a personal <laughs> prediction. You know, no, I don't want to be alone. You know, I, I, I want to enjoy life to the fullest with someone. What good is it if you can't share it? You know, and I'd love to have a family. You know, whether that's tomorrow or whether it's five years from now, I don't know. I don't tell you. Um, I want to come back in a little bit, and uh, I'm going to, you know, tell you the exact reason why I'm leaving. And, um, you know, I'm going to talk from my heart. I'm not going to use any script or any prompter like that because um, it truly is a... a you know, it's a sad day for me leaving here because I feel so close to everyone here. I mean, of course, my family here, these guys have been here forever. But uh, I want to just tell you at home how much, you know, you mean to me. And I, I want to say that to the very end so we can get into sports and, and we can keep <laughs> on going. <laughs> so we're going to be right back. Yeah, we'll right, be back with it. We're going to be right back. It's all about you. John, we always give you the last word. Let's give you the last word. Yeah, I want to talk from my heart just a little bit here and uh, tell you, you know, why I'm leaving. And uh, as a kid, I had this dream, and it, and it was in New York. That's where I grew up. I would share it with my mom and dad and my sister, too, but I had this, this dream. And my dream was to do the weather at the time it was in New York. 
You know, my dad would watch, just as you're watching at home now, and maybe your son, your daughter's in there saying, I want to be like Rene Chanel, Larry Menti, Vice Ikehemi. Well, I wanted to be like the weather guys there. And, uh, and as time went on, you know, I was sticking to my dream. My dad passed away, and I actually buried him in, in the uh, television station I'm going to, WCBS-TV. I buried my dad in that T-shirt, hoping that one day maybe he can give me a little help to get in the door there. As time went on, I wound up actually coming down to Philadelphia. At first, when I came down here, I said, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been to Philly. I, I'm not too sure about it. And uh, I came down here thinking I'd head back to New York in maybe a couple of years. And I, I fell in love with the city. I fell in love with the people. I fell in love with the passion of the city, the sports passion of the city, the restaurants. I'm, everyone made me feel at home. Of course, you have your growing pains. You've got to earn your dues here. But I got through that, and I said, this is home. I bought a house, and I said, I'm here for good. And then 9-11, uh, and I went up watching the 9-11 event, the tragedy. I went back to New York a week later, and I looked around, and I know many of my buddies are firemen, and uh, the devastation that I witnessed, the emptiness that I felt, I felt like I abandoned almost my home by not being there. So I really wanted to go back. I really felt I needed to go back. And that day, that's when I started saying, I think I have to rekindle that dream and head back home. My home, and I hope you can understand that. And, but I just wanted to say that I'm just so happy I came down here. You're always going to be in my heart. I love Philadelphia. I'm going to be your number one promoter when I go back there. I said, you got to check out Philadelphia. It is the best city you can possibly be living in. And I want to thank you so much. I miss you. It's a blue-collar town. My dad was a blue-collar person. And uh, this is the best thing that ever happened to me was coming to Philadelphia. Thank you. And goodbye. Mm. Much happiness. Thank you. Good luck, John. You are a great meteorologist <laughs> and an even better friend. Thanks, Thanks. John. Thank you. Great I love job. you. We love you, you darling. We love you. Hey, bud. John. By the way, <laughs> this is your home, too. <laughs> Ask those people over there. The Tonight Show. With Real-time closed captioning of NBC 10 News.